Yo. Okay, so we can actually push objects forwards and backwards um, on the canvas, similar to three-dimensional space. For that, I'm actually going to use these two shapes right here to demonstrate that. We have a star and a circle, and I'm just going to place the star close to the circle. Well, um, sort of above it with a piece of it on the outside. And what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to actually push the star behind or underneath the circle. To do that, I'm going to go to the Z depth feature right here, and I'm going to type a value of 1. And there we see it goes behind the circle, right? But as we can see, the layer, the star layer is actually above the circle layer, right? Um, but we can still push it behind that um, layer using the, the Z depth feature. So positive values push it forward and negative values bring it um, towards you. So from zero to negative values bring it brings it towards you. I'm to demonstrate this further, I'm actually gonna animate this. So what I'm going to do is um, well the first thing I'm gonna do is delete this keyframe. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna have the star go from left to right behind the circle and then as it's coming back it will go in front of the circle so first I'm just gonna set up the keyframes with it moving left and right okay um, and I'm actually going to copy this first keyframe and put it to the last one because it's pretty much the same thing it's going in the same location and if we scrub we can see the star going back and forth now so the next step is to actually have it go behind the circle. So for that, I'm going to go to the Z depth and I'm going to type one. And there we see a keyframe is added. So anytime the animate is on and you make any change, it will automatically add a keyframe. So I'm going to move this here, right? And there we can see going behind the circle and maybe move a little further down the timeline and I'm going to change this value back to zero. Okay, so now we know that it will be above the circle and if we you know should scrub we can see it's animating behind it and then when it's coming back it comes in front okay and that's pretty much um how you can use a z depth you know you could have planets rotating around each other or whatever it is that you decide to do um so that's it for this this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one Yo. Yo.